Hello! Thanks for following our seminar for professionals of English at UNED. My name is Roma, Romy Acuna and I'm the head of the chair at the English major at UNED. For this session, we invited Professor Jonathan Elizondo. Welcome, Jonathan. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being with us today, telling us about the challenges of using technology in the English as a foreign language in the classroom. Well, um, I think there are many challenges, and one of the uh, main challenges right now is that um, teachers are afraid of using technology. And so uh, my, my idea with these kind of workshops is to show teachers that there's nothing to be worried about. And um, we, can, we can just go ahead and start using technology, and it's going to be a success. Do you think it's possible to use technology in any kind of classroom, like, for, large, for example, large groups or inner city schools? Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, um, I think if the, if the group is large, technology is one of the best things you can do because you can personalize um, like the, you can personalize the help you're giving the students and you can make sure you give uh, like your personal time in the class to the students who require more help while other students are working uh, more individually. And with smaller groups, well, there are hundreds of applications and things that you can use in the classroom in terms of technology. I totally agree with you. Are there affordable technological applications that do, to be used in schools with limited resources? Uh, well, yes. Um, actually, nowadays, with uh, all these systems that we have in our smartphones, there are a lot of uh, free applications that we can just download and use in the classroom. And there are a lot of websites. And I think that's one of the challenges also, that teachers don't know the websites that are available that are totally for free. Um, that we can just go ahead and access and some of them don't even require to sign up or log in. Uh, we can just go ahead and, and use them for free to help in the classroom. What would be the ideal role of a teacher who wants to incorporate technological resources in the language classroom? Mm -hmm. Well, I think first uh, the teacher needs to begin by using the technology himself or herself. We know that technology is our best friend, but it can also be an enemy sometimes. Um, if I don't try the technology first in my house, if I'm not sure I use how to who use the tool, um, it's definitely not going to be successful. And so that would be the first thing, to know the tools and then come and bring them into the class. Don't be afraid of, of using them. So in your opinion, economical resources is not a limitation? Um, not really. I think nowadays most of my students, I personally work in an elementary school in an area that is economically not very um, good, economically speaking. And um, I can say like 80%, 85% of my students have a smartphone. And if you talk to them, if you talk to their parents, they bring them to the school and you can use them. Um, MEP is also incorporating nowadays many technological things in, in the classrooms. We have Fundación Omar Dengo, we have other foundations that have these um, different um, um, agreements with MEP and we actually can benefit from them. We have Biblioclass, which is now not only the library in the school, but also the center of technological resources. And they provide tablets, they provide smart um, uh, whiteboards and all of these things that we can use in the classroom in public schools, right? Sounds like a very good idea to mm -hmm. use them in class. How can teachers address the students' learning styles through technology use? Well, I think that um, definitely, by using technology, we're addressing all our students' learning styles. Uh, the moment you ask a student to do something in their phone or in uh, any technological device, if you ask them to stand up to read a QR code, for example, you're um, addressing the kinesthetic, the need to move, that is not necessary to do with their hands, right? It's just that need to move and walk around the classroom. Uh, if you bring videos, if you ask them to watch a video or to write notes on the computer, you're addressing that learning style of uh, being visual and being um, also doing and definitely um, listening. It's uh, always in our classroom since it, it is a language classroom. And I know this is not a learning style per se, but I think our students now need the technological thing. Like they are very technological. And so if we include that, we are addressing all our students who love technology. 
Okay, I can picture, for example, a teacher who says, I only have the Blackboard. Mm -hmm. I might bring my computer, but that's all I have. I have no internet connection. What can I do with that? What would you suggest for that teacher? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you can bring your computer, um, and that has happened to me sometimes, I bring my computer and I create certain games that require the use of my PowerPoint presentation with links. So you click here and the student gets awarded a point or you click here and they get a sad face if they did the wrong answer and all the students would like to come to the front and participate. As simple as that. Um, QR codes, they don't need internet connection. If you have text on them and not a URL, not, not a website, you can actually um, use them in the classroom without, technology, uh, without internet connection. You just create them in your house, you print them and you bring them to the class and you ask your students to walk around and scan the QR codes to get certain questions or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. As a conclusion, how would you summarize your presentation for today in few words? Okay, so my presentation is divided in three different sections. So one of the sections is general tools that we as teachers can use to prepare class or to bring to the class. And uh, the second part is how we can incorporate technology to teach vocabulary because that is very important. Um, actually, David Wilkins said that without grammar, little can be conveyed, but without vocabulary, nothing can be conveyed. Sure. So uh, that is very important. And finally, um, those tools that can be used to increase um, speaking comprehension, which is listening. Uh, if the student is able to listen, they are actually going to be able to speak better, to write better. Um, so those are like the three big uh, parts of my presentation. Okay. Uh, thank you for much for thank you so much for sharing with us today. If anybody would be interested in knowing more about your presentation or your topic, how can the person contact you? Okay, so if they want to contact me, they can um, always go to my Facebook, which is Teacher John, and uh, I also have uh, a website. Um, and my email, Jonathan with double N, J O N N, Elizondo at gmail.com. And definitely I will be able to help. And thanks for your attention. And we invite you to follow us on Facebook as well at Carrera Enseñanza del Inglés, Primero y Segundo Ciclos UNED. Have a nice day.